Now, it's argued, say, say some, that to criticise the Jewish state is to attack a fundamental part of Jewish identity. With some people, that's true. But what if, like me, it's not part of your identity? Let me say what happened at the Jewish Labour Movement-led training session at the 2016 Labour Conference, which led to Jackie Walker's suspension. It wasn't Jackie who made the sharpest, sharpest intervention at that session. It was me. The trainer said it was OK for people to criticise the Israeli government, but not acceptable to challenge the legitimacy of the Jewish state of Israel. So I said, and again, anyone with a hotline to the legal and government, turn your recorder on. I said, as an internationalist Jew, I oppose the Jewish state because under the law of return, it gave me a greater right to live in Israel than those Palestinians who were evicted, dispossessed, and ethnically cleansed. This was not just a criticism of the current right-wing extremist government of Israel. It was a criticism of the fundamentals of the state itself, as these crimes were committed by the founding fathers of the state, who were, of course, Labour Zionists. Was this, I asked the trainer, in your eyes, I said to him, a legitimate criticism, or does it come within your definition of anti-Semitism? <coughs> he couldn't answer. He couldn't deal with what was behind my question, that many Jewish socialists cannot support Israel as it is presently formed, because it is a racist state based on the ethnic cleansing of Palestinians rather than a state for its citizens. Jackie was singled out, not me, though my challenge was greater. I wonder why. Having witnessed the racist abuse to which he has been subjected, I can only guess. Now, they have tried to silence us, and, the, and they have failed. The level of support for the resolution on Palestine at last year's conference is testimony to that. The opposition to the State of Israel, support for the boycott, divestment, uh, divestment move, boycott <coughs> movement internationally is growing. And it is growing in the Labour Party too, as the Jewish Voice for Labour the non-Zionist Jewish organisation is beginning to grow.